Chapter 35 Who or what is holding this food body? That invisible presence is holding the body. Where was that presence prior to beingness? What will happen to that presence? Of that, no one knows. We have so many concepts, last birth, future birth, destiny and so on, with which we live our lives. All these body-based concepts are supposed to dissolve completely. For this to happen, you need knowledge and meditation. Our presence is beyond our imagination. You can't imagine how you were prior to beingness or how you are going to be after leaving the body. Even if you try your utmost to imagine or guess what this presence is, it will not be that. All you will come up with are concepts. Dissolve all your body-based concepts. You do not have any specific identity. Your identity is beyond the body, beyond and beyond everything. The body form is not your identity. Your name, mind, intellect and ego are not your identity. There was nothing there and there is nothing there. All these body-based concepts came along with the body and will dissolve along with the body. Countless concepts were thrown at us since our childhood days. They have left their lasting impressions. You need a master to dissolve them. You also need spiritual knowledge. Then all the add-ons, i.e. all the body-based knowledge that is not ultimate truth, will be removed. And then you will be totally out of concepts and out of the circle of body-based knowledge for good. When this happens, ultimate truth will emerge. How you were prior to beingness and how you are going to be after leaving the body, that will appear spontaneously. A master is needed until there is conviction. Everything came out of nothing and everything dissolves back into nothing. Body-based knowledge is unhelpful. Whatever knowledge you have will die along with the body. Reality is supposed to be absorbed within the spiritual body of the invisible listener within you. When it is absorbed, you will have no concerns at all, even though you continue to live in this illusory world. You will live in a more detached way, without the strong connection to the world that you used to have. You will attend to your work and to all your duties as you did before. But, and here is the big difference, even though you are attending to your duties, there will not be any concept around of I am doing this. That conviction will appear. All your concepts will dissolve, including rebirth, future birth and past birth. Ultimate reality, ultimate truth is not separate from you. For you to absorb this knowledge, satsangs, numerous talks, dialogues, conferences, etc. are all essential until you reach conviction. After conviction, all these discussions will be rendered meaningless. If you glance within, you will see that the body is made up of five elements. There is also the mind, the ego and the intellect, as well as the experience of the invisible I that mistakenly considers itself to be somebody. We are holding the body, measuring ourselves in the body form. That is not reality. 
The invisible presence within the body is shapeless and does not have any specific identity. It is called unidentified identity or Brahman, Atman, Paramatman, God, Master. That you are. But in spite of this knowledge, you're not able to accept your reality. And so, again you go wandering here and there, looking to find Brahman, Atman, Paramatman, God, Master, all outside of yourself. Visiting all these different Masters is meaningless. Visit your own Master. All the saints, including Yaneshwar, say the same thing. You are the centre of the world. If there is no presence, who will talk about the world? This means that the entire world is projected out of your presence. Presence is not limited to this body. Presence is in every being. Lord Krishna says in the Gita, My presence is everywhere. That conviction will appear. So who or what is the holder of the body? It does not have a name. That you are. To know yourself requires effort. And this is why we insist on the meditation practice. Why is it so important? Because through it there is ongoing hammering. You are hammering that consciousness with you are formless, you are ultimate truth, you are Brahman, you are Atman, you are Paramatman. The Soham Sadhana is perfect for erasing all the illusion and establishing ultimate truth. In our lineage, the recitation of the mantra is given prime importance. The Nam Mantra has been tried and tested. The mantra is most important. It acts perfectly. Take the mantra seriously, for it has great power and the highest value. Don't disclose it to anyone. Use it all the time, because this is your chance to know yourself. Put some effort into the practice at first, and soon everything will happen spontaneously. And whatever happens around you, just ignore it, because it has nothing to do with the holder of the body that you are. At times there may be some peaceful atmospheres, and at other times some painful ones. It is of no consequence. It is just like when you wake up from a dream you immediately know that it was a dream. You will know that you have not done anything because you are not the doer. Your consciousness has taken birth and projected a dream world. You are acting in that dream. When you know that it is a dream, you also know that you are not doing anything. Similarly, in this illusory world, when you know that it is an illusory world. All the actions are to be seen as illusory actions. Therefore, don't give any importance to what you are doing because you know with deep conviction that you are not the doer. There is neither a doer nor any deeds. Again, I am repeating the same thing. Do not try to define or analyse the Master's words. What they wish to convey is the most important thing. Your questions are supposed to be practical questions, not theoretical questions. Stop this analysis. Withhold undue comments. This knowledge must be tasted, not analysed. You have to taste the knowledge. Analysis, arguments and counter-arguments are all counterproductive. You are to taste the knowledge, 
try and ask practical questions. When presence touched with the body, the consciousness took possession of your body. You started living as the body instead of as the holder of the body. You accepted illusion instead of reality. Meditation will reverse the process and correct the mistake.